Yo guys, Ray Tom here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be discussing who you should pick out of the Mariano Diaz and the Marcus Alonso showdown cards that have just been released by EA. These cards are to represent the game that will be held on Tuesday or Wednesday, whichever day, uh, you know, Champions League semi-final is going to be play, played between uh, Real Madrid and Chelsea. So the two cards, like I said, Mariano Diaz and Marcus Alonso, both released by EA. So if this video does help you out, make sure you do smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the video as well. Um, I do make lots of content like this, so if you do enjoy it, like I said, make sure you do stick around. So before discussing the cards, I'll quickly show you the requirements for both of them. Uh, so, the, you know, Mariano Diaz, 84 with an 85 in an inform, and then Alonso, I think, is the exact same, 84 with an 85 and an inform. So these cards are going to cost the exact same amount of price, um, and I'd say it's probably around 550k, maybe a little less than that. Um, so, you know, they're decent price, good rating as well, and the, obviously they do have the option to either go up one if they draw or go up two, depending uh, if it's one of the teams wins. So, I, you know, one of the, you know either card could either go up to 91 or they could say 80, uh, go to 90 or one of them goes up to 91 and the other stays exactly where it is. So, both cards, we'll have a look at them now and then we'll sort of discuss which ones you should pick. So, the Marcus Lo uh, Alonso, I keep wanting to say Lorente, uh, Alonso is a left mid card with three star three star, which is very very poor. Um, but his in games look very very good. Look at that stamina: ninety seven stamina, eighty one strength, seventy nine aggression. Ain't the best, but he's got good heading accuracy, good defending, good inceptions. Um, he's got good ball control, decent agility, decent balance, um, all right reactions, good ball uh, uh, good ball control. Um, dribbling is quite good as well. He's got good crossing. Vision's a little low, but other than that, I mean, his pace is brilliant as well. Are they, you know, you know, Kemp style giving more pace? That'll be brilliant for him. But like I said at the start, three star, three star, it is not the best if you want to play him at the winger. Sorry, at the wing. Um, so that's why I would personally switch him to a, a wing back in game, depending on your formation and where you play, uh, sort of what formation you play. I'd probably stick him to a left back um, just because of that three star, three star. And I mean, his defending stats are very, very good. But overall, his cards insane. You could probably play him at midfield, to be honest, in game with stats like that. It's just you know the three star, three star does let him down massively. Personally, you know I you, you don't want to be um, using players with three star, three star. Um, you could say it doesn't fit the meta because you know really it doesn't fit the meta. So they're not going to be too good. But if you play him in you know a wing back role where skill moves aren't really required, that could be coming in handy. Even in like a centre defensive midfield role, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that Marcus Alonso card, his in-game stats are very, very good. Then we'll have a look at the Mariano, who's three-star, four-star. So just a little better than the um, Mar Marcus Alonso. Uh, I keep wanting to say Lorente L uh, Alonso with the skill moves on week four. Um, so if we have a look at his in-game stats, he's got 99 jumping, 97 aggression, 90 strength, which is brilliant. Um, he's got 92 agility, 85 balance. Balance a little low. Reaction is a little low. Um, he's got 98 curve, which is a bit weird. Um, he's got 90 finishing, which is good. 97 shot power, 93 long shots. And again, he is very, very quick, similar to Marcos Alonso. Yeah, so like Alonso, insane in game stats. 99 heading accuracy as well. So that is, you know, not that people really do crosses anymore. But, you know, if you do get a crossing, he should get his head to it. He is 5'11", so he's not the tallest in the world. But like I said, 3-star, 4-star, which again is a bit better than the Alonso, but again, they are different sort of cards and different positions. So if you're going to play in this guy at top, would I play him there? Probably not. I probably wouldn't complete this Mariano card. Even if he does go up, they don't upgrade the skill moves or weak foot with these sort of upgrades. It's only the rating. So the Mariano, you know, plus two if they win and uh, Marcus Alonso plus two if they win. So now, which one should you complete? complete? The way I'll say this is what you want to do is check other players in their positions. So if we do this now, if we go to, uh, well, we'll go to have a look at some players. So if we go to La Liga, first of all, and we'll have a look at some strikers that you can get for around 150k. That's just my guess um, for how much the, the SBC is going to cost. So around 150k, you're not going to get much, really. You're going to have, like, Luis Suarez's, but Luis Suarez isn't brilliant. You'll probably get a Benzema, but again, Benzema isn't, isn't that good on this game, is he, realistically, with that 72 balance? Griezmann, but you don't see anyone rocking a Griezmann, really. Do you? you don't really see anyone rocking La Liga strikers. Uh, if we have a look at centre-forward, um, anyone here? 
Again, just more Benzema cards. Messi, obviously Messi's going to be a lot more than 150k. We do have a Jao Felix. I will, I do have Jao Felix play the month card. And I can tell you, a few months ago, this card would have been brilliant. But, you know, when Winter Refresh didn't come out, I was really hoping it did come out purely just for this guy's card. Um, he just isn't... He, he just isn't as good anymore it's like with Neymar now Neymar was brilliant but you can start to feel Neymar getting a little less good with all the defenders being better especially with team of season out now do I think this Mariano will be as good as the other you know defenders you're going to come against probably not and also there are going to be cards that will come out for team of the season which are probably going to be around similar prices because if you look at the Prem team of the season they're all very very cheap um obviously you've got your Rashfords and all them but if you look at like what is it? Um, Suchek, he's a 91. He's like a 100k. Edison, obviously, he's a goalkeeper, but he's very, very cheap. Ruben Diaz, 94 centre-back. Insane card, but again, he's only, what, 400k? So, you know, there's a trend that the team of season cards aren't very expensive, so a lot of people are packing them. Then, if we go have a look at the Marcos Alonso, similar players in his position. Obviously, if you want to get a winger, if you want to get this guy purely for a winger, I wouldn't get him to play as a winger. Um... I think he's probably better suited to be a left back or a mid CDM sort of player. Like, you know, you have your um, Alfonso Davis. He plays in, uh, C you can play him, his team of the year in CDM. But if we go to players from the Premier League, just to have a look at like left wingers, that is now, uh, and wingers, uh, just to compare him, you know, to his actual position. Um, so, we, you know, you've got Sterling, Mane, Barnes. Obviously, these players are a little more expensive than 150k, but these are the players you probably want to get better. You know, uh, if we look at Sterling here, four star, three star. Even the Pulis, even Jogo Jota. I've seen so many people use Jogo Jota this year. Very, very good card. Good skill moves and weak foot as well. Even any version of Mane, really. Um, and obviously that Harvey Barnes, if you can save up for him. And obviously the Human Son. But, you know, he's a bit out of the price range. If we go to uh, left backs, we can have a look at, you know, players he compares to there. Because I also, you know, I did mention that I personally could play him left back. We've got obviously this Luke Shaw card. I don't know how much Luke Shaw is. He's around, yeah, 300k-ish. He'll probably drop when people pack him after rewards. Um, you've also got Zinchenko, which was another flash as showdown card. Then you've got the Dinier, which was an SBC, which I think, was he an 84 and an 85? Or was he an 84 and an 86? So similar price. So you might want to be comparing this Dinier. I know that Dinier was overpriced. I know that for a fact. Um, but you might want to compare the Dinier to the Alonso, seeing what he does there. Um, but if we get the Alonso in the team here... I'll uh, quickly have a look at his, you know, compare him to some mid midfielders where I think he could possibly play, depending on what you feel on that. Um, so if we go get the Marcus Alonso in here, obviously he's not going to be as good as, you know, your Rashford's and all that. But if we go to Prem, then we go to um, mid, well, what should we do? CDM. So we've got Pogba. You know, I don't think people are really rocking Pogba anymore, but, you know, if someone may be rocking a Kante. I reckon you could, obviously you couldn't start Marcus Alonso in CDM from the start, but you could switch him in game. That Rodri card as well, um, could just compare him to Marcus Alonso. He could, you know, this Alonso could definitely be a box-to-box. -box. What's his stamina again? Um, yeah, 97 stamina, look at that. So if we compare him to the Rodri, he's got better stats in every single stat except for defense in, uh, defensive and physical. So that means, you know, Obviously, he's not going to be as good defensive wise, but it's you know box to box, 84, 84. Slap a shadow or an anchor on him, it'll you know it'd be just as good to be honest. But let's have a look at what's Rodri's weak foot and skill moves. Yeah, three star, four star. He's just a little better there. But if we have a look at Rodri's balance and agility, he turns like an absolute truck compared to Alonso, who's uh, oh they're not even that much better, but they're a little better. So you know it depends what you want to do. But you could get a, definitely get a nice link up going here if you were to do this. Um, so you could go complete the Rodri for free, but then you could go ahead and get the Marcus Alonso if you were thinking of completing him. And that is a very nice link up here, like so. Uh, definitely good for Prem teams. The Marcus Alonso is very good if you want to if you do have a Prem team. Um, but yeah, again, it is, you know, like I say on all these videos, it is up to you, completely up to you who you pick. It depends who fits your team, really. And if you are thinking of completing one of them and you feel like, you know, either of them will fit in your team, personally, I'd go for the Alonso because of the Mariano, just because... Three star, four star for a striker isn't brilliant, and he just he's good. He's got good stats. Don't get me wrong, but there's just going to be better players in a few weeks, um, and I feel like there probably is better players out there at the moment. But I don't see many people rocking La Liga strikers. It's just many icons and stuff like that now. So I think the Mariano, I mean, good price, but you know, he's just a bit overrated personally. Even if he does get that upgrade, to be honest, I don't even think any of them are really that worth it. If I'm honest, but 
If I was to pick one of them, I'd personally go for the Marcus Alonso, um, just because his stats are incredible. Don't get me wrong, Mariano's are as well, but that Alonso can play in many positions, I personally believe, and he does link to better, you know, he has better links than the uh, Mariano. So, boys, that is the video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, like I said at the start, make sure you do smash the like button and subscribe. Again, this is just in my opinion. If I was to complete one, it would be Alonso. Your, you know, opinion may be different than mine. No need to slate me in the comments, whatever you think. Everyone has their own opinion. And uh, hope you did enjoy it. Like I said, drop a comment if you've got any questions about either of the cards. And uh, until next time, boys, I'll see you in my next video. And uh, peace out.